Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Nino Kuni. In the last one, we got Tangri and see fixed them all up in our world, in the other world, and also cut one of my one of the best uh, familiars in this game, Mr. Mr. Donosaurus here or Hydra, which is my name I gave him. But yeah, he's pretty good. We're gonna need him for later, knowing this game because this game gets very hard if you don't don't have the proper stuff. So might as well grab him while I can. Okay. So let's call Tangri up and have him take us where we want to go. This is a lot faster travel, as well. By the way, if you're wondering. Look at that, we're already all the way over to where we need to be. <laughs> Almost. I think. I don't think we're going all the way over there. Well, kinda. Also, today I did my first midweek madness, if you're wondering where this takes place. So, March 13th. And the reason why I do backlogs is because I got school and and coming up and I do I have I do a part time job on top of it and usually thirty hours. So I try and get as much done at night time, so Crikey, look at this this monument by here. Well, this doesn't make it here. Make we well this didn't make it here by accident. Must have been something to do with these stones. Hey, look, there's something written on it. And there's Chon start chat chart. Okay. That was can ain't it? And it probably tells us where the stones are hidden and all. Shall I decode it for you, Ollie boy? Oh. And him it says the secret. Oh, I got secret, but so it looks like it is backwards in a way. But okay, I didn't know it was actually gonna tell me. <laughs> uh, I might actually just skip to that part, <laughs> so you'll see this part. Okay, righto gives us a sec. A him, it says the secret that the map in part lies not without, but it's in its heart. And that means what exactly? It means, if I'm not very much mistaken, that the stones ain't on this island. What? You heard me. The secret of the stones, where they're hidden, lies not without it, said meaning. Not on the surface of the map for all to see. And I reckon the bit about it being in its heart means a real location of the stones are lurking somewhere inside the flipping thing. So, uh, how do we get them out? Well, I don't flipping know it, do I? Calm down, Mr. Drippy. It's not as if we even have the map at the moment. Looks like we'd better go and talk to old Kublai again. Giddy up, Tangri. Hope I'm not being too quiet for you guys. I'm trying to not wake up the, uh... Wake up my new dogs, because <laughs> they can be pretty loud if I start screaming and yelling. Also, I just noticed that the microphone's not even that close to me, so let's move that over a little bit. You might notice a sudden influx of noise for a second. But it should be better than it was right a second ago, so. GG easy. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. There we go. It's so much nicer being able to fly. We could have just teleported over to Kubla. I just thought of that. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, let's 
Let's just do that. Can we park anywhere around here? Park off. Yep, there we go. Let's use travel to get to Skull Mountain here. There we go. That's a lot better. <laughs> there we go. That's a ton better. Wonder what Coop Line's gonna tell us about this place. You good old reliable Coop Line. You gonna tell me where I should go next? Grahaha. <laughs> tell me, boy. Did you find those magic stones? Well, uh, not exactly, but we did find a big old mon monument, though. It was... The point is, Mr. King of the Pirates, is what that we... There were no stones there, not a single one. I reckon you'd better give us another look at the map of yours. Hmm? Curious. And you searched thoroughly? Thoroughly? We're trying to save the world, Mun. Of course we searched flipping thoroughly. That was definitely the right island. Here, Ali boy, give the Nazakon from the monument thingy another read. Then I'll tell you the secret, I bet. The secret that the map imparts lies not without, but in its heart. What could that mean? Well, the stuff always has something to do with your magic, right? So, should we cast Take Car on it or something? It cast it on a map. And what would we do with what we got from it, if we got anything that is? But it couldn't be something to do with magic, right? Yeah, that tends to be the case where, where you're involved. You put a good deal of faith in the boy's wizard ring. Does he know many spells? Oh, lots and lots. People just keep giving them to him. You're not wrong, Esther. Whether got a tidy pile of spells now, ain't it? I reckon we must have something that'll work. The secret that map and parts lies not without, but in its heart. Do any of your spells bring to mind, Oliver? Gee, one or two maybe, well, there's only one way to find out. Insight. Maybe insight? That was it. Daidi, we hit the flipping jackpot. So, so they been were hidden separately. I had my suspicions there. Our three stones, after all, to hide them in one place seemed foolhardy. Hardy. Hang on, I'm not sure I understand. What made all the marks appear on the map? It was a spell I used. Insight. It shows you the memories of the people who once owned an object. I get it, so you showed, you, it showed you the places that the person who made the map wanted to keep secret. Yeah, the memories just came rushing into my mind all at once, and they were, there was a message too. Well, what was it, spit it out, Mun? Uh, let me see. The wand is the weapon of the heart. The stones merely reflect its surface. True power lies within, well, it lies in the depths. That's all it said. What the heck's that supposed to mean when it's at home? Hmm? I'm sure he'll we'll find something out eventually. Let's think about it while we look for the stones, shall we? Fair enough. Here, pirate face, will give you will you give us a lend of the map? It will be right to faff coming back here all the time to check it. The stones you are your concern. I have no need of the map. Take it. It will free up more space for good, honest plunder. Thank you very much, Captain. We'll go and see what we can find from the three places marked on the map. And it looks like we're spending plenty of time up in the clouds with Tangri. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, we'll be keeping him busy, all right. Tidy. It's time to begin the next chapter in the adventures of the interpreted 
wizard alley boy in the search of for the magic stones. There we go. And we unlock some stuff over here. There we go. Did the shopkeeper open up? Or not? Yeah. Didn't think so. I think the shopkeeper actually needs help. Where is it? Where can that cursed thing have gone? Have you lost something? That I have. And not just anything, I've lost my lucky charm. Your lucky charm? Aye, lad. We sky pirates won't do so won't so much as look up to the clouds without a gust plume to protect us. They keep the wind beneath our wings and the song the sky is in our hearts. Gee, it sounds like they're really important to you. That they are, lad. That they are. And without mine, I feel naked as a babe. Say now, you wouldn't consider finding me a new gust plume, would you? You will. I'm in your debt, lad. I'll not forget it. Gust plumes can be plundered from beasts known as beachheads. They prowl the seas around these parts. Aye, aye, sir. Leaving us, Mr. Sky Pirate. I'm counting on you, laddie. And we got one person over here. Who needs our help over here? You? Blast. It's no good. Is something wrong? Well, see, I was carrying a few checks on the engines and happened across a part that needs replacing. But I have no spares to hand. Gee. Hey, but doesn't that mean, how is the iron wyvern flying with a broken engine? But I've jury-rigged the solution for now, but she'll not last long. She could be in, in for a bumpy ride. Jeepers creepers, you mean it could. Plunge down to the ground in a ball of fiery disaster. Belay there, you addle patted worry warts. I patched her up well enough to keep her aloft till now. And I'll keep her aloft for a while longer yet. There's reassuring. Still, this is a patch-up. I cannot be sure it is the engine after all. I, the engines, are the heart of the old beast. And here I am too busy to go and search for fresh parts. R, if I only were there, were a mechanical-minded soul who could repair these. This here broken booster for me. Somebody good with mechanical things? Hey, I know just the person. I'll bet Rusty back in Motorville can fix it. Rusty. Oh yeah, Myrtle's dad you mean. Truly? You know someone that, then I beg you to ask Rusty fellow if he if he can can't take a look at my broken booster. Thank you kindly. If you fix it I'll be forever in your debt, lad. And better yet the old girl might not fall out of the sky. Tidy, let's get over to Motorville, shall we then? Sure, let's go. I actually kind of wonder this. Would you react any differently to a, to something from another one? Like, obviously from somewhere else. That'd be weird. microphone since I'm noticing that it's not as the audio levels aren't as big as usual for some reason I'm not sure why but move that around just move the microphone sorry for that okay that should probably be better okay there we go okay Rusty's all the way down there. So I wonder how Rusty's doing after all this. It's been quite a while since we helped him out. Hmm. 20 episodes now, I believe. Hey, Rusty. Hello, Mr. Cartwright. Well, if it isn't young Oliver, what can I do you for, son? Well, I uh, kind of need your help, sir. Do you think you can fix this? 
Oh, now let me see. My, it's pretty worn down, whatever it is. What is it, f what's it from? Um, gee, it's kinda, uh, you'd rather not tell me, huh? Are you and Phil up to your tricks again? I bet you are. So, um, can you fix it? Sure, I'll give it a shot. You will? On one condition, that you promise me you won't do anything dangerous like last time. Deal? Yes, sir, I promise. I think I, that ought to do it. Play safe now, you hear. Thank you, Cartwright. Oh, I thought he would have a different reaction to it. Eh, right away. Back to where we were. Where does it teleport us? Same place? Or over near the ship, I wonder. Oh, nope. Beginning of the area. Hmm. Pretty good. Not bad. Maybe I picked up a gust bug. I didn't try giving one to him yet. Be nice if we accidentally already had it. It's mended our Thank you. Thank this guy is now I can bring the beloved engines back up to full steam. Neato, and we won't have to worry about the iron wyvern falling out of the sky anymore. Haha, <laughs> that won't lad. That you won't lad. Here, a little booty for your trouble. Suit of stout armor. Do I have anything I can wear armor? Pretty sure I don't. Or you might as well take this too. I found it at the bottom of the pile of plunder. Looks like a recipe of some, su some such. Whatever it is, I'm sure you'll be more used to a wizard as yourself than it would be to me. Alchemy. Really? What kind of thing did you give me? Oh, it's for a moon drop. Oh, that's nice of you. Rhodes revolver still can't make it. <laughs> Oof. We need to fix that up when we can. Cause that's the upgraded uh, Swain pistol. This means... Okay, we don't have any. Won't be worth a shot. Okay. So let's see here. I just want to see if he can. Oh yep, yeah, he can wear. Jeez, that is some armor. Honestly. Just throw it on them and make them beefy for a while. Okay. I'll go fight one of these real quick to just level them up a little bit. He could use a little bit of a level. Or we can just travel to one of the new places. Where's the closest one? No, it's not gonna tell me. Not until we get outside at least. Okay. Pretty sure we can choose where we want to go first, I'm pretty sure. Oh, forgot. Oh, we didn't walk behind him. Rip. Cobb father. Oh, the upgraded version of a goblin. Smack him. Nice try, bud. I'll take care of the goblin father. I want you guys to just keep smacking. Keep on smacking. That should be fine. There you go. Good job. What can I say? It's a good Here's some levels for him. We even got our upgraded versions of of our guys getting levels too, which is good. Holy crud, those guys are fast. I didn't expect him to run at Mach 10 speed. <laughs> yeah, the big horn should be fine. This bridge will begin to give him a little bit more, honestly. I don't know why you're using sandblast on someone that's already blind. My, my supercharged. Okay, cool. 
So let's heal up Swain. Oh. Maybe I should have touched that healing stone <laughs> when I got the chance. Don't catch me, don't catch me. I wanna thank you. Shell Razor. I just wanna fight this turtle. Here goes nothing! Okay. You shouldn't be too terribly scary. Cancel this gold. Oh, you guys are all out. As much max as you possibly can. Yeah, he's not even scary. If this is how he's going to be fighting. Maybe he do damage to one of them. Just throw an arrow of light at him. Here you go. It's not gonna work though. Here we go. Throw back. Some little spook again. Back on him a little bit. Yeah, he's pretty much done for. And then I smash it for you. And another smash it. There we go. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too hard. Get a little bit of a level up two out of that. Let's see. Pretty sure nothing else on this island, right? Okay, so you can either go top right there. I just want to remember we should do the ice area last in my own experience with this game, so I'm going to say do that one last. Because I did that one first. Originally, and let me just say those monsters are strong. And terrifying. So, let's go to that place we tried to get in before, but couldn't because of. Ooh. So, familiar up here. I forgot if those things are good or not. I don't even remember them, to be completely honest. Now, is this a town or is this a. I think it's a town. Fall of Tears. Where are we? Ooh, Cursed Crypt of the Cobra King. Fall of Tears. God, where in the hell have where have we ended up this time? I've known prisons that looked more inviting. Another damp old ruin it is. Nicker, my lantern's going to end up covered in mold caked, I tell you. Does that lantern ever really go moldy? Uh, you know, that's not really important right now. You're not wrong there, Ollie boy. It looks like we've got found the place we're after. One of them magic stones should be somewhere in here. Summoning circle looking thing. Let's see where we are. It's never bad to save. Okay. What are we looking at? Summoning circle. If I remember correctly, I think it heals? I'm not particularly sure if I remember. I'm not feeling any better about this place. I just wish it could be a bit less creepy. 
Take this for example, a statue of a snake. Who in their right mind would choose that as an ornament? Another that's who. Hold on, are you saying you're scared of snakes, Wayne? Of course not. And what is it to you if I am anyway? Why do you... Hey, did anyone else just see that? Huh? Just now, the snake's eyes, they glowed. Oh, I see, you're trying to be funny, are you? Well, it doesn't suit you, Oliver. Huh? Huh? <laughs> We're frogs. Ribbit. Huh? Ribbit. 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 What the flipping heck is going on? Ribbit. Ribbit. Have we turned into frogs? Robbit. 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 <laughs> it's a curse. What are we gonna do? Don't make such a fuss, man. It's not like it's made me uh, made us any smaller or anything. Speak for yourself. So, how are we going to turn back to normal? Ribbit, ribbit. What's that? Ribbit, ribbit. Gosh, what a colorful frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Wait up, where are you going? Was that frog cursed by the statue as well then? Do you think it's actually a human? Someone who came here before us? Maybe I know something about this place, let's go after it. Boink, boink. <laughs> Hold up, Ollie boy. What if a monster attacks us? We're in no, no state to put up a fight, mon. Well, I guess, but we have to go after that ro rainbow-colored frog, Mr. Drippy. Wait a minute. We might be a bit on the froggy side, but your familiars could still be okay. Have a look, will you? Gee, you're right. That's, they seem just fine. Interesting, that. The curse only affects us humans. And fairies, of course. Well... Let's count our blessings, shall we? At least we've got your familiars to protect us if a monster fancies frog for lunch. Yeah, I guess you're right. I think we're... If we're definitely gonna have to fight things as, as frogs. Come on, frog. Come on, sneak. Make a lift and no discs. So we definitely don't want him to go down in this form. These guys are poison, thousand percent. Yep. We even changed all our pictures to frogs. I like that. <laughs> Oh, I remember why I like this dungeon. Maybe it was a good idea to pick this one first. Yeah, there's a lot of attention to detail in this game. Mm, I'm not sure which way we were... Well, the frog went this way, so... Yep, there he is. He's not too far ahead of us. Looks like the monsters don't really mind. And also, he didn't really change, charge after us. Ooh, a silly mander. Hello, friend. Not sure which one's more scary. I'm gonna deal with the color boros. help him knock out the silly mander. Thank you. Oh, you got bracer on you, don't you? You're a little, you're nice. He <laughs> said he's defensive and helping him out. Oh, you're really fast as a frog. I wonder. Boink. Boink. Jesus. My defense. 
My defense is no longer there. Oh, brass bell. Wait a minute. Isn't that part of the rogue revolver? No, it ain't. I think it was worth a shot. What is my defense right now, actually? 72. I kind of dropped my defense. Oof. Frogs can't. Oh dear. Boys and girls, I just want to take a second and say uh, I have to go and check out my friends' channels on the channel section on my page. And one of them will be on the ending of this uh, video, on the ending card. Please go check them out. They're all pretty cool people. Okay. See y'all later. Have a great day. Peace out and keep being spooky.